Uh, Stan, Scott Cushman from NOLA.com. I'm uh, just curious how you thought those final couple minutes uh, played out your first uh, close game of the season. Yeah, well, the final couple minutes I thought played out well other than uh, a couple of turnovers, but I thought our defense was really, really good um, the last couple of minutes. Now, when they got back in the game, I thought we got sloppy against their zone and our defense broke down a little bit. But at the end of the game, yeah, I mean, we got the job done defensively, I thought, very, very well. What's up, coach? This is Will from The Athletic. Just what do you think about the control uh, B.I. had over the offense and the way he was able to get himself going and his teammates as well? You know, no, I thought he did a really good job. Obviously, took us from behind to the lead. We were riding him on every play. And then I probably went too far with it. He had two turnovers down there to stretch. I think he was tired um, at the end. I, I'd probably given him too much there. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, he both made plays and made shots um, that got us the lead. And look, I mean, I told these guys afterwards, it sounds crazy, but as a coach, these are my favorite kinds of wins. Not that I want to shoot like that every night, but to shoot 38% and 20% from three and be able to get a win against a good team, to me, is, uh, is a great way to win. Because any team, every team in this league, every team can beat any team on their best night. The good teams have to be able to win on less than their best night. And we did it by the things we've been talking about since day one. Finally, we took care of the ball, only eight turnovers to their 15, all right? We get 12 offensive rebounds to their four, and we get 28 free throw attempts to their eight. I had sent them a text probably a month before training camp and just said, you know, the first step is we've got to get to where we don't beat ourselves and talking specifically about turnovers and fouls. And so we were able to win a game doing that despite the fact that we really, really struggled uh, to shoot the ball. You mentioned turnovers and fouls, and first thing is you turn them over 15 times. They only averaged 12 a year ago. You only turned it over eight times yourself, and a couple of those were in the very late stages. You really did a very good job hanging on the basketball, but 11 steals against a team like that is pretty impressive. Yeah, I thought we were active with our hands. I thought our defense in general was pretty good. We had a couple of uh, – three, four minute stretches where we weren't very good. But I thought over the course of 48 minutes, uh, we were pretty good defensively. I thought we did a very good job um, on DeRozan, on his pick and rolls and on, uh, on him individually. Uh, we did a good job staying down on his shot fakes. Um, so I, I thought defensively we were good um, and we rebounded the ball. So I was, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy defensively. Offensively in spurts, I thought we got good ball movement. We're still really a, uh, a work in progress and we're writing a lot of individual play right now. We need to be a little bit better with ball movement and uh, execution, but, but a good win for the third game of the year. Hey Stan, Christian Clark here with Noel.com. Lonzo had five of those steals. Um, what did you just think about what he was able to do defensively in this game? Well, he's got great anticipation, he's long, um, and he's just got really good instincts for the ball, and I thought he did a, uh, did a really good job there. So, yeah, I was happy with him. I thought he played a good game. I thought he played a really, really good game. Coach, it's uh, David Grubb with uh, the Bird Rights. Um, in that first half, as things really were getting more slow, how did you get your team to maintain their focus defensively and stay in the game until you could get some things going with Brandon, get some things going with Lonzo in the mid-range? Yeah, I, I didn't really have to do anything. This is a pretty good group as far as staying with the game. I think we saw it, David, in the first two games of the year, too. We came from down in Toronto. Um, even the Miami game, which didn't end up good, we were way down, got it back to six, we're in the game. Didn't finish well the last eight minutes. A lot of that was, you know, I used our guys a long time trying to get back into that game. I think we ran out of gas. But this group keeps playing and they keep fighting and I've been, I've been happy with that. So I'm not surprised that, uh, that we stuck with it. It's uh, Scott again with Noel.com. Uh, in his post game uh, on the floor, Brandon said he thought he was pretty terrible down the stretch, uh, that blood kind of bailed him out. 
Um, what do you kind of take from when you hear things like that, that a, a guy who played the game he did, uh, kind of that's the first thing that he thinks about. And, and also just what does it mean that he wanted the ball as much as he did uh, going down the end, even if it didn't necessarily work out? Yeah, yeah, no, look, I, I'm glad he wanted the ball. He's going to be in that situation a lot. And he clearly understands the responsibility that goes with that. And so even though he had a great stretch there and scored a lot of points, he knows he can't turn the ball over in those situations. And he takes that, he's taking that responsibility seriously. So um, he'll get better, we'll get better. Um, you know, watching film from last year, and you guys know this actually better than I do, down the stretch in games, it was Drew Holiday who had the ball all the time. So even though Brandon and Zion scored a lot of points, Drew was the guy they went to down the stretch in games. And so now this is a new experience, you know, for Brandon to be the guy that we're going to down the stretch in a close game. And so I thought overall, he handled it pretty well for the, uh, for at least one of the very few times he's been asked to do it. What's up, Coach? This is Will again. Uh, you mentioned after the last game that you wanted to rely on your bench a little bit more. You felt like you needed to give those guys more minutes end up playing only three bench guys tonight. Just what was your mentality as far as using those guys and what do you think going forward, how you're going to use them? Yeah, look, but it's not a matter to me of how many guys I use. It's, it's the minutes. And so, you know, we played 70 minutes off the bench tonight, okay, which, which really, you know, it still puts our starters average in, you know, 33 minutes a game. But that, I think, is about where you want your best players, you know, and – it, the 70 minutes, I'm looking more at the bench minutes, and I told them uh, the best thing about our bench tonight, 70 minutes from J.J. Josh and Jackson Hayes, one turnover combined for the three of them. You know, we've, we've talked about if we're not putting the ball in your hands and asking you to create plays, you need to be a low-mistake player. And for those three guys to combine for one turnover in 70 minutes is uh, huge. And, and look, when you take care of the ball, when you defend, and when you rebound and you don't foul, you will generally at least have a chance to win, even if the ball's not going in, you know? Um, in the Toronto game, we had to live on our shooting because we had 27 turnovers and the whole thing. And like I said, anybody can win on a great shooting night. This was pretty solid basketball, certainly a lot of things that have to get better, but pretty solid basketball um, that we can build on um, and hopefully get a lot smoother offensively as we go. Hey, Coach. This is Ollie with the Bird Rights. You had just touched on DeMar DeRozan actually having an off night. Was there anything special you guys did? Because he got off the game, I think, he had a couple of drives where he got his fellow teammates a couple of easy shots from three that he hit. But did you guys do anything different? Did you lock down on him in any specific game plan? Well, look, he had nine assists, so it's not like he didn't play well. He had a little trouble shooting the ball, second night of a back-to-back. -back. You know, that will happen. Um, no, we didn't do anything special. I thought we played real hard. We stayed disciplined to what we were supposed to do. We didn't give him a lot of room on his pick and rolls to get downhill. Um, you know, so I, I thought bled and Josh were solid and, and disciplined on him. And I thought Steven uh, and Jackson were very good on their pick and roll defense. All right, I think we're all set. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.